Hey guys, Christina Regine here. Today we are making homemade Kahlua, also known as coffee liqueur. It is literally the easiest thing you could possibly make. And it needs only four simple ingredients, or five if you want to make Kahlua and cream. It is so good and perfect for those of you who love coffee and liquor. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. Begin by brewing one cup of strong, fresh coffee. You could use instant coffee instead. Just simply combine two to four tablespoons of instant coffee with one cup of water. Add the coffee to a bowl and then add two cups of sugar. Whisk and combine until the sugar has completely dissolved in the coffee. If you brewed your coffee fresh out of a pot, then leave the coffee to cool off before continuing on to the rest of the recipe. So I am making sure that I stir the sugar into the coffee well enough so that it dissolves completely. It is going to take a while since we do have two cups of sugar with one cup of coffee in here. Kahlua is supposed to be thick, syrupy, and sweet, which is why there is so much sugar in here. So the sugar is going to make this very thick and very flavorful, especially if you use cane sugar like I do, as opposed to regular white sugar. Now let's add one cup of dark rum. Some people like to use vodka, but honestly, rum is such an amazing ingredient in this recipe. Not that I have anything against vodka, but rum just has so much more flavor to it, and that's what makes it so perfect for something like Kahlua or any other alcoholic drink that has coffee in it. So let's also add one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. Alternatively, you could use a vanilla bean instead by scraping out the inside of the vanilla bean and putting it inside the bowl. I believe one vanilla bean should give you one tablespoon equivalent of vanilla extract. Continue stirring. Now, here's the only hard part about Kahlua, the fact that you have to wait for it. I know I hate waiting too, but it's definitely worth the wait with Kahlua because as it ages over time, it gets way better and more flavorful. So give it about a week or two or even longer to age and I promise you it will be even more enjoyable. Here I am making some Kahlua and cream, which is optional. Some people like it with cream, others without it. It's totally up to you. Just pour your Kahlua over the rocks with some cream and stir everything together. And here is a nice and easy Kahlua and cream. It is so delicious and so easy to make, minus the waiting part. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you like this recipe. For more recipes, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And also, please check out my blog, ChristinaRegineCooks.com, where I post all of the written versions of my recipes. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. Until next time, bye!